Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the actor's tool, the voice. At Trike, we like to make sure that we are using our voice in a strong way. So we learn how it works, we learn how to exercise it so that we can use it to the best of its ability. But most importantly, we learn when to use it and how to use it. You see, sometimes a voice that is strong is one that says nothing at all. But sometimes a voice that is strong is very loud and says a whole lot. Our voice can have such a big impact on those around us, so we want to make sure that we're always using it in a way that helps our team. So today, I want you to meet one of the best speakers I know. She uses her voice in so many wonderful ways, and she's going to use it to show you your challenge for the week. This is Natasha, and she is a poet. I'm Miss Tasha, a teaching artist here at Trike Theater. And just like Miss Molly said, along with being an actor, I'm a poet. So today we're focusing on the voice. Typically when we think of the voice, we think of, are we being heard? Am I speaking loud enough? Am I speaking quietly? Did I warm my voice up? Well, today I wanna to focus on a different aspect of the voice. So when we are being heard, what message are we giving? What exactly are we saying? Everyone is locked in quarantine right now, as we all know. So what better way to get those thoughts and those feelings out through poetry? So for our younger students, here is your first challenge. I want you all to create a silly, 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 silly poem about what it feels like to be stuck inside. And here is my example. Roses are red, violets are blue. I can't leave my house, so what do I do? I've played all the games that one could play, and I've read all the books. My mom is home all day long, but she doesn't even cook. I miss my friends, the sun on my face, but we must stay inside to protect our family and the people we love. So I'll listen to my dark bark a thousand times a day play board games with my sister, and even let her win. But when this is done and we're all safe, no one will keep me in. For some will try, but they all will fail. Cause I'll be riding along with the winds like a sail. Easy, right? So for our older students, I'm gonna challenge you just a little bit harder. I want you to create a poem about isolation. And what does that mean to you? What are you learning from being inside all day? What are some of the new things that you're discovering about yourself? Here's my example. I stood in front of a full length mirror, rode out of bed after my dreams whisked me into my day. I sat on my balcony overlooking the sky as the morning swallowed the night. I talked to God without fears of interruptions of comings and goings. He whispered through the wind, my child, I miss you. I clenched the cross around my neck as I remember how to love myself, past the stage and the applause. In this isolation, I am learning that my shadow is simply the parts of my spirit that was way too dynamic to contain. So they spill out of my body and trail behind me, almost as if to say that even on days when my head hangs to the ground, Someone is looking back up at me because I am the answer. I carry my grandmother's promise and my father's conviction. And as I come to realize all the things that I miss, I wonder, maybe God was trying to tell us something in the solitude, trying to kill off something in the virus. So if you guys are up for the challenge, I can't wait to hear your poetry. See you soon, bye. Thank you so much, Natasha, for sharing your beautiful gift with us and teaching us how powerful words can be. I hope that this challenge allows you to find your voice because when we use it in a strong way, it can be so uplifting for our community. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.